Good morning, everyone. Before the sun gets in my eyes, you can see it in the trees behind me. I want to welcome you back to Growing Writers, the series that explores connections between gardening and writing. First, a thank you to those friends who commented on the blossoms idea in the previous episode. And you said you might want to use that with students. Uh, please do. Uh, as a teacher myself, uh, I see students as the primary audience for this series. Others are welcome to harvest what they may from these shows. OK, uh, on to today. <coughs> Last episode dealt with the blossoms on the cucumber plants in the, in the back of the yard. And today I wanted to just mention blossoms of another sort. And uh, this plant behind me is a rose. It's called a knockout rose. And we're in late July now. Uh, it started blooming back in probably April. And I've pruned it twice already. This is the third crop of red blossoms. And looking at these blossoms and thinking about them in, in connection with the cucumber blossoms, which are yellow, that we looked at last episode, it makes me want to remind viewers, and I may have mentioned this in an earlier episode, but it certainly bears repeating that uh, when I'm doing a piece of writing, and I have some stories that I can tell you another time, I ask myself three essential questions. First, what am I writing and for whom? Second, what's the main purpose of the writing? And third, where most creativity can come in, the most fun, uh, how can I best shape the writing uh, for that particular audience and that particular purpose. So how's that connected to roses? Well, here's one way to think about it. The cucumbers in back, the blossoms for which we looked at last time, what's the purpose of growing them? It's a vegetable. Who's it for? My wife and me and uh, neighbors and friends if we have enough to harvest. What's the best way to shape it? make sure that it's contained and that the leaves can take the sun uh, and, and then you harvest the cucumbers and you can use them. The blossoms in that case precede the fruit. Here, uh, what's the main purpose? It's not so much for eating in this case. The blossoms are, you might say, the end product, something that's pretty to look at. One of the ways you shape this uh, so that you can get to see the beautiful red as often as possible, especially in this climate here in Atlanta. Once the blossoms have appeared and you've enjoyed them and they start to weaken, uh, you can prune them, and then you get a new crop of red roses to look at. It is true that roses have fruit, and at another time uh, we can look at uh, that particular fruit and how you could use it. But for the time being, Think of writing as having different purposes. Uh, it could be to eat the cucumbers. It could be to eat the cucumbers. Uh, or it could be to look at the roses. You decide when you're starting a piece of writing. What's the, what's the goal here? Okay. So I think that's enough for today. The sun is about to uh, come down to eye level. You can see it in the trees behind me. So have a good day, and we'll see you next time on Growing Writers. Bye-bye.